Europe's Strongest Man is happening this weekend. We've got 12 athletes competing. We have the three past champions competing as well. And there are still opportunities to qualify for World's Strongest Man. So let's take a look at the athletes, the events, and we'll give you our predictions. Right, let's take a quick look at the athletes first. Starting off, we have Shane Flowers from the UK. We have the reigning and defending champion from Ukraine, Pavlo Kordiaka. We've got former Europe's strongest man, the mighty Luke Highland Oak Stoltman. Travelling over from Latvia, multiple Strongman Champions League world champion, Ivar Schmuckstelis. I think Ivar's been on the podium at Europe before as well. He has. The Welsh bull, Gav Bilton, can he claim Europe's Strongest Man for Wales? We've also got the 2022 Europe's Strongest Man, also from Ukraine, Alexei Novikov. We have the deadlift monster from Estonia, Rauno Hainler. Making his first appearance at Europe's Strongest Man from Czech Republic, we have Andre Foytu. And another man who's been on the podium at Europe's before, he's getting himself back into shape, the one and only Konstantin Janasha. And we have another debutant representing Italy. He used to be the under 105 world champion, Nicholas Camby. Coming over from Sweden, we've got Frederick Johansson. And representing Ireland, we have former UK strongest man, Paro Dwyer. So obviously we had Mateusz Kieliszkowski unfortunately pulled out. He tore his Achilles a couple of weeks back. So that is sad news. Mm. But we've got a real diverse mix of athletes here. Good mix of representation from different countries. Really I know there's other people that want to see some other countries in there as well. But solid list of athletes. And with three defending champions, I think we're going to have a real battle. Yeah, no, I think it's still going to be a great competition. I was really sad Mateusz was out. Obviously, sure. I did think like, I had him number one on um, my podium. I do th still think it's going to be a great well, competition. We'll go into predictions in a minute, but let's quickly go through the events so we can kind of give our reasons for our predictions. Yes. Starting off with the Nickel Stones, a stone carry event. We're seeing this quite a lot right now. Obviously, there is going to be a stone carry at World's Strongest Man. We've seen some of these athletes do this before. Some were solid, some not so good. Mm. A couple of athletes that we've never seen do this type of event before. So lots of questions to be answered. Are athletes that weren't so good at it improving on this event? Because it's going to be important if you want to do well at Worlds. How are some of the new guys looking at this? We do find... Normally, athletes that have their second attempt on these do much better. Yeah, and there's a lot of guys that are going to be doing this type of event for the first time. So Luke Stockman stands out to me as someone who could do very well. He used to hold the world record on this a few years ago before it yep. was introduced to competition. Um, but who knows? That like People could come and surprise us. And there are some people with experience in these type of stones. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, someone I think that could do very well, although I've never seen him do them, is Constantine Janasha. Well, we've seen Constantine do the Arnold Stone carry at the Arnold UK 2022. Sure. So he was mid He wasn't in great form then, but he is a good carrier, very, very strong deadlifter. You know, I hope we're seeing him back to his best. Oh, if, he's, so. if he's in good form, he's yeah. a threat. Obviously, we've got to see what kind of form he is on the day, but Constantine in shape is a very dangerous strongman. Mm. I know Rauno has been telling you how his training has been going on this, and he's feeling a lot more confident on this type of event than he would for, say, a farmer's walk. Oh, yeah. And apparently his training partner is looking very good on this as well, Ivar Schmaukstelis. Yeah, I mean, Ivar's got, he's got decent grip. He's really good at farmer's carries and stuff like that. But yeah, for someone like Rauno, like Rauno's issue is the thickness of his hands. Like his... His like hands aren't small. Wood. Yeah, they're actually too big almost to, to get a good grip on a bar, but he can hook grip these rings. So, And we've seen good results from him. At, again, at that Arnold UK show, he was fourth on this type of event. If you had to look at this lineup and you had to put some money on who you think wins this event, who would you go for? Luke. Interesting. Yeah, but I do think someone, like maybe Shane Flowers does really well. I've not seen Shane do something like this. I just don't know. I don't know. Well, Parker do quite well too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right, moving on to event number two is the car walk. And this is where I really wanted to see Kaliszkowski back. Yeah, but me too. unfortunately, we're not going to get that pleasure for this contest. Mm. And looking at this lineup, there's no standout guy on a car walk type. You know, maybe Alexi. Alexi's pretty quick at, um, at this type of event. But there's no one that I'm looking at thinking they are, you know, a set dead favourite to, to kind of win this event. No, I think it could end up being really close. Um, but yeah, same as you. Like, no one's jumping out at me as, oh, this is going to be his mm. event. I think there's quite a lot of guys who are going to be really close to each other. And honestly, I feel like almost anyone could win this event. Like, some people... Andre Foytu, he can really move. Like, he's a massive log lifter and he looks like a massive log lifter. <laughs> so he's got, you know, the 
big chest and shoulders, sure. but he can move, so who knows? He can. So I mean, surprises. Shane's training is looking really good. An interesting one for me is Gav Bilton being back on this. Yeah. He's not had the best success in the past, obviously, you know, what happened to him a few years yeah. back was... He did it okay in Britain's Strongest Man the year before last. He, he, he is improving on it. Yeah, and so. he had the, the knee issue at the Arnold's UK. Yeah. I saw him, he actually came down to my gym the other day to train on the nickel stones. He's looking very good on those. Mm. If his knee's okay, I think he can do well. I want to see him in good shape this year. Yeah. Deadlift ladder. Mm. I'm sure you have a favourite picked out for this one. Well, <laughs> it's a tricky one though, isn't it? Because the deadlift ladder is the least predictable of the deadlifts I feel if you're going for reps um, because obviously there's the moving element straps no straps like, sure. we've seen some people like Adam Bishop on Britain's Strongest Man a couple of years ago yeah. was absolutely insane on this event like he strapped up for each one didn't he but, yeah, but I've never seen so anyone well trained. so fast yeah, yeah. Um, Rauno on paper definitely my favourite I know he's nervous but I think that's normal to be nervous for an event where people expect quite highly of you yeah um, well so look yeah. at his deadlift at the um, Arnold's UK his deadlift's looking strong yeah, looks he, he, you know, he had some knee issues earlier in the year he's coming back well from that uh, again if he's in great shape Constantine Janasha is a great mm. deadlifter Shane Flowers is a very good deadlift yeah. as well I think he can do well Luke Stockman's brought his deadlift up a lot and he did well at the Europe's Strongest Man deadlift ladder two years ago so I, I think Luke you know I'm not trying to big him up too much but because normally I'm not talking about Luke but I think he's got a great shot in this competition I, I, I really do and looking at his training he's looking in great shape um, you know there, there's not that many standout deadlifters there's good deadlifters in this competition but there's there's not that many tremendous deadlifters other than the likes of Rauno who mm. is you know on that you know when you're talking about top top end yeah yeah he's in that conversation uh janasha has been before what kind of shape is he in so for the guys like luke who notoriously deadlift isn't his biggest strength mm. we have seen his deadlift results improve quite dramatically over the last few years if you just look at individual deadlift competitions he's getting better all the time yeah. picking up more points on them yeah so even though the deadlift isn't his strongest event i feel on a deadlift ladder like this he can still pick up some good points mm. in and this lineup the same could be said for pablo cordiaca as well deadlift not his strongest event but in this lineup maybe he doesn't drop that many points and he's still like right in contention all the way through the other one we should talk about novikov is a good deadlifter yeah he you is, know he yeah. and um Depends how quickly he can move in the suit. Yes. And, you know, he, he is a very fast athlete. Yeah. I think he can do well. Event number four is the Viking Press. Yeah. So our dog has just woken up from her nap, so apologies if you hear anything weird. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Viking Press is the overhead event this year. Um, presumably, it's going to be the giant slide of logs, and they're going to be facing outwards. It will 100% be that piece yeah, of kit. Yeah. And, again, I, I think someone like Luke Stoltman can do extremely well on yeah. this event. I think so too, but I also think um, Pavlo Kordiak could do really well here. Pavlo, very explosive, yeah. really knows how to use his whole body in mm -hmm. these type of movements. Yeah, and uh, you know, Pavlo, defending champion, he's going to want to come and, and win that title once again. Yeah. And we are finishing with the Atlas Stones. No surprise there, I believe. I don't know if it's the heavier set or the lighter set, do you? I don't know. No. I mean, I hope it's the heavier set. I know they might say, yeah, Europe, but Worlds is coming, but this is Europe's strongest man. It, I think it should be the heavier set. So. And also, I think the athletes want that confidence that 200 kilo stone is, is not a problem right now because yeah. they're going to have to do the 210 at exactly. World's Strongest Man. Yeah. You want to see that, that test where, rather than the sprint. I think yeah. you want a kind of, you know, good solid stone run deserving of Europe's strongest man. 100%. Right, it's nice when I do not have athletes in a competition because yeah. I can give out predictions and no one can say anything. No, <laughs> yeah. I do have an athlete in here. <laughs> you do. You've got the one and only Rauno. I He's um, your, your one and only athlete. <laughs> uh, I think Rauno can do very well with some of these events. I don't feel he will win this competition just due to a, a couple of weaker events. But deadlift, I think he can do fantastically well. Yeah. I'm looking at who I think can be consistent. So I kind of look across the, the events, Nickel Stones, Car Walk, Deadlift Ladder, Viking Press, Out of the Stones. For me, you always have to talk about Alexei Novikov. He's not had the best last year. I think we need to be honest with that. But watching him at the Arnolds, he looked better, even though those weren't great events for him. Mm -hmm. The events here are better. He's got a very good record at Europe's Strongest Man. I expect him to be in the top three. I expect Luke Stoltman to be in the top three. He yeah. is hungry for this title. He wants to prove people to pr people that he's still one of the best in the world. Um, I think the last year or so, people have kind of forgotten about him a little bit. You know, there's been competitions where I've not really kind of given him a chance. 
but these are great events his training is looking very very good i'm expecting big things from you luke so no pressure no buddy pressure. <laughs> now then it gets harder I think an in-shape Pavlo is a very good. Yeah. Again, the end of last year, Pavlo wasn't looking as good as he was early last year. No. And these events aren't as good for him as they were at Europe's Strongest Man last year. I, I agree. Ivers, I feel, is a very, very solid athlete that can always be dangerous. Yeah. And I wouldn't I be surprised to see him on the podium. Shane Flowers, yeah. another athlete that's doing fantastically well. I think he can do really well in this competition. And if he is in shape... Constantine Janasha. Constantine is a hard one to pick because we haven't seen the consistency from him over the last few years. But, and I, to be honest, I know he's doing a little, a little bit of arm wrestling and stuff like that, but he has started posting some training videos and he's looking pretty strong. Yeah, I'd love really to good. see him in shape. However, I'm going to go with the, the security of recent results and I'm going to go with Luke Stoltman taking the win. I'm going to go with Alexei Novikov in second place and I'm going to pick Ivor Schmokstelis to come third. That's a really solid podium, Lazo. Brava. <laughs> uh, it's not happened yet, so I might be yeah, completely wrong. No, no, but I think, yeah, looking at these events, I expect Luke Stockman to win. Um, uh, it's hard. I don't know. I just don't know. Pavlo or Alexi in second, possibly with the other in third. If Gav, if Gav Bilton is Britain's strongest man, Gav Bilton, I feel he is on that podium. Um, but I just don't know because obviously the last time we saw him he wasn't in that same shape but Shane could be on the podium someone surprising I would not be surprised to see Andre Foytu like tapping on the door of the podium at least like he's got some really solid events I'm just going to go with what you said yeah <laughs> Luke Alexi Ivers that's just chickening <laughs> out Rano's going to be well pissed off with you <laughs> <laughs> He's always pissed off me. That's fine, I'm fine. Right, guys, as always, let us know your predictions in the comments below. We love reading them. Also, I believe the tickets have sold out for the actual yeah. event, yeah. but official strongman now are they've up their game when it comes to the live stream you have pause and rewind on there now yes. make sure if you cannot get to the event you are tuned into official strongman get yourself signed up you can watch all the previous giants live shows as well as many other strongman competitions as well so if you're not signed up to there already there's a link in the description below and for those of you that are heading to europe we will see you on the weekend